una de la edición del Money Show, que es una de las conferencias más importantes de finanzas en la ciudad de Miami. Nos toca el turno con el presidente de una compañía que se llama Fintech World. Su nombre, Sidney Armani, que es muy importante porque ese apellido por allí no es muy común. Le damos las gracias de tenerlo. Muchas Thank gracias, you very yeah. much. Thank We're you for having me. We're going to talk about artificial intelligence because uh, one of the aspects that his company do a lot is about artificial intelligence. So I want to ask you, Sidney, where do you think this is going? Are you in this uh, uh, environment where this is going to keep going and take over the world? The world is going to get destroyed by artificial intelligence or what do you think is going to happen then? Well, thanks for having me. First of all, I appreciate it here, and we're at Money Show. This is a great place. I've been coming here, and I'm actually one of the keynote speaker. And my speaking is going to be about AI, you know, and the fifth industrial revolution, which is AI is. My company called AI Fintech World, which is, you know, we've been around since 2012. We're in Silicon Valley, myself in Silicon Valley. In, you know, I'm a, a, a blockchain advisor at Stanford University, mm -hmm. so we see a lot of startup coming and going. So AI has been around for you know for a while, but now it's becoming a household name basically. So what we see uh, in the AI world basically that uh, right now a lot of hypes going on. Is every television you open is an AI this, AI that, AI this. As far as of you know what AI going, you know you have to imagine, and that's what quote from people that they create the AI. Imagine the electricity show up, somebody find out the electricity, but the lamp, the you know the car, the other things. So you're going to see a lot of appliances coming that major into AI. That's what's happening. And let me ask you another question with regard of that. Do you think that is going to be a, a really major destruction of works, jobs because of the AI? Do you think that people have to reinvent themselves? One of the problem that people that is our audience have in Latin America, in Spain, and all over the world, because at the end of the day, they are seeing negocios TV from all over the world, is, is a kind of a fear about what is going to happen with their jobs. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen with that? Because it's extremely important. You want productivity. You want, you, if you are an entrepreneur, you want to hire less people and rely more on artificial intelligence. So what do you think are the situation what that we all face as a society in terms of jobs? Yeah, and that's a very good question. Thanks for asking. No, it's uh, what I believe because I've been studying this for a long time. We have a journal called AI World Journal, and which is you know dot com. You can go to it and see a lot. We wrote a lot about article about that, and we have something called AI World Society. AI World Society dot com. It's about in in 20 countries, including in South America, Spain. We have one chapter in. And that's what we're talking about, about, you know, the how do we combine the AI and educate people to learn about so they don't be a fear. Like everything else, when telephone came, everybody got, you know, scared. But now you see everybody from the older or younger, they use telephone. So this is something that they have to adopt to learn. But as far as what you mentioned about finding the job, it will be a cooperation. There has to be something, a cooperation between human and AI. And that's what's going to happen, basically. So if you, people, younger people, educate themselves about AI. But let's say another thing about it. Because the biggest thing about AI is healthcare. If they're going to find, AI will find out the cure for the cancer. AI, right now, there's companies out there, and that's very important. It's going to save life. We have to look at it like that, basically. Because I just briefly, if you go to get the you know exam, you know, CAT scan or whatever it is, the, the, the report that you get, you know, before you go see the doctor, you put this report right there in chat GPT and say, explain to me that. It will explain to you a drug you get, you know, put it over there. So AI is gonna help a lot of human beings, but scary things, like everything else, you have to adopt, we have to adopt ourselves. Una de las cosas que les quiero decir, I'm going to tell them in español, es que él nos está explicando precisamente eso que yo llamo los miedos que nosotros tenemos con la inteligencia artificial. Una de las cosas que nos está diciendo es que efectivamente todo va a evolucionar, pero también hay algo importante que lo hemos escuchado y que efectivamente eh, Mr. Armani es experto en esto y eso tiene que ver efectivamente con todo lo que sucede con la salud. Cómo efectivamente la inteligencia artificial nos va a ayudar desde el punto de vista de salud a saber realmente cómo podemos tener una mejor calidad de vida porque el médico va a saber exactamente qué es lo que debemos hacer 
para tratar de tener una mejor longevidad. Now my question is, what do you think would be the recommendation, Mr. Armani, to the young people that are seeing us yeah. from all those countries, that they have access to ChatGPT, they have access to yeah. Dixip, they have access to Perplexity. What do you think they yeah. should do today to, to make sure they, they, they exist? Right, that's, a, that's another great question, and I'm very for it. You know, first of all, Again, I want to mention that anybody can go read AIWorldJournal.com and, you know, we have a fund actually for younger people that, you know, and for entrepreneurs and startups, it's called AI World Fund. So any of these younger people that they have something special and they will have something special, they can go over there and we raise money for them and also mentor them and that's the best thing. So you ask about younger people. Right now, there was a news that just recently in last that China started teaching younger people as like as seventh grade. They gotta be adopting. So they're gonna start teaching AI in seventh grade. Why are they gonna do that? Because that's what they see the situation, that's what's gonna happen in the future. And that's what they're building all these data center, that's how you see that. AI going over there, but I gotta mention to you, AI has two for the audience and you can explain in Spanish. Because when you say AI, you just give everything. Then we, we have a generative AI, AI, Gen AI, and they have enterprise AI. Those are two different things, basically. Kind of. oh, yeah. Okay, a generative AI, like, you know, you see the chat GPT, you make him, you know, make a logo, make a picture, all these things. Is so a lot of these young kids, they go and, you know, it's fun. You go over there and make, you know, something or writing or sometimes over there. But the enterprise AI is that's what's going to happen in the, you know, airline, like I mentioned to you about uh, uh, hospital, like about other things that's going on, like healthcare. Those are important. So for younger people, yes, play around with that. You know, chat GPT, you make a logo, make a, send a love letter to your girlfriend, you know, they know that they are intelligent, but also learn about enterprise AI. That's how you're going to be in the future. Listen, we're very happy to have you, Mr. Armani. We want to bring you back because uh, actually I hear that you're also going to be interviewed from the New York Stock Exchange yes, yes. soon with our partners at FinTech TV. So thank you for Thank coming. you for having thank me. You I very appreciate much. that. You know, I'm one of the fans actually for a long time. It's been a pleasure to having you, I mean, you know, having me here, having an interview with you guys. Gracias. Bueno, aquí tenemos entonces a alguien que realmente conoce de compañía lo que sucede con el AI y volvemos ustedes a los estudios. Muchas gracias. Thank you.